Welcome to ELE 202 Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will be making parts in fritzing. To make a part in fritzing, it is best to find a part in the fritzing library that is similar to the part that you desire to make. To do this, first export that part from the parts library. In order to export the part, you need to first right-click on the part and edit that part. Then you can save the part. Now the part will show up in your My Parts bin, where you can directly export it. Next, change the FZPZ extension to a zip extension and extract the files. Now you can see the five different files that make up a Fritzing part. There are four SVG files. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. These files are the icon, breadboard, schematic, and PCB views that we see on Fritzing. The fifth file is the FZP file. That is a metadata file that contains the information which links the four SVGs together and tells Fritzing where the connections are made. Change the extension of the FZP file to XML so that you can see the code contained within the file. Now you can see this module ID. That is an identification for Fritzing. If you don't change this name, then Fritzing will think that you are trying to import the same file twice, and it will not allow you to do that. Next, I will change the names of the files that are contained within the folder to make them easier to read. Remember to also change the file names so that they match with the names that are assigned in the metadata file. Here you can see the metadata file has named the connectors, therefore pointing Fritzing to the location in the SVG file where the connection should be made. Now I'm going to make my own special resistor and make changes to the band colors. In order for Fritzing to recognize the specific components inside your SVG file, you must name the parts of your SVG file to correspond with the names in the metadata file. To do this, we will open the XML editor. The XML editor is used to label the specific parts of the SVG file so that they can be recognized by Fritzing's SVG ID in the metadata file. We are working on the breadboard view of the resistor. Therefore, all of the components in the file must be named breadboard. Do you recognize the label connector zero pin? Well, you should, because it was also used in the metadata file under the connections heading. Isn't that cool? Save your file as a plain SVG file and change the name from XML back to FZP. Finally, compress all of the five files back into a zip file and rename the zip file to fzpz. Now you are ready to import this fzpz file back into Fritzing. To import the part, right click on your My Parts and click Import. Now select the file where you have saved it. And voila! There is my green, blue, and lime green resistor. Making parts in Fritzing may seem a little bit difficult in the beginning, but with a little bit of practice, you'll be right on your way to making really cool parts. Happy Fritzing-ing!